Hello everybody, welcome to your second Adobe Audition tutorial. My name is Caleb and in this video I will be speaking of a bunch of cool stuff and we will be getting into recording. But first I want to talk about the file system with this. All right, so I'm in uh, my, part, my hard drive and then I'm in my users folder. Caleb, that's my name. And then I have all my folders here, you see? So I'm going to open the music folder and reveal an explorer. So open this and I'm going to create a, a folder here. So new folder and I'm going to name it audition now we want to create a file new audio file or control shift n as you can see so control shift n and then we can click we're uh, mono and stereo and 5.1 I'll explain these in a bit so for now let's just click OK and I want to show you when we record we can see my voice uh, waves or whatever you want to call them, appear up on the screen. So we can stop it, and then what I can do is click play back. We can see my voice. You uh, see there's waves. like two of me now. Or, that's pretty cool. Now, the way microphones work is um, m mine has two inputs, a left input and a right input. So if I have headphones in, one side will hear this, uh, this up here, and the other side will hear what's this down here. So there's a left output and a right output. So if I just want to hear the left side or the right side, I can turn the left one off and click play. We can see now it's just playing the right side. So if I put it back to, you can turn them back on. Now this is called stereo. There is also 5.1, which is five speakers and a subwoofer, which is basically surround sound. Now the other option is mono. So if I create um, new file and select mono, it's going to just have one and it's going to combine the left and right so oh, if you click record you can see that it only has one output so when I play it if you click record it's going to it's going to play the left and side the same the left and right side that is now normally vocals are recorded in mono because when you're listening let's for, say for a song or something you don't want more vocals on one side than the other but for some instances you may want that so what you can do is when you create it just select mono and that's that's what you will want to record vocals in and for other stuff you may want to use stereo for example I can record in stereo and then I can export the single individual mono tracks for each side so if I select stereo and click OK and then I record la 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 that was my song I just created this is untitled 5 if I right click it and extract channels to mono files it's going to create a left channel and a right channel which are basically just the sides as you can see my right channels a little bit more stronger than my left channel this is why mono is not always great because my right side will have louder vocals so if you you can export just one side of it like that what I can also do is open the original file with both sides right click and click convert sample type or shift T then from here I can the channels I can convert this to mono and this will convert it into one mono sound. So if I play it, record. La 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 la. Record. It's going. Oh, yeah, piece of crap. It's going to play equally on the left and right side of a speaker set. If you have two speakers, or if you are wearing earplugs, which is what I I am doing currently. So at the beginning of this, there was like a little me talking record. here. Record. Record. I don't want that in there, so I'm going to right click and click cut, and that'll get rid of that. Actually, I'm going to get rid of more of this. So now when I play it by pressing this button or space, la, la, la. this is what I have. And now uh, what I want to do is I want to save this. So I can click File, Save, or Control S, Save. Now what am I going to name this? La, 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 la. Now the dot will wav or wave, which it's a wave format. <laughs> I like to pronounce it wav because it sounds funny. This is the encoding. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select wave format because that is a good format and the location I'm going to change that to my uh, musical music and then uh, I had audition so here's where I'm going to save this and then save here and click OK. So now if we open that folder over here in the media browser and if you can't find it you can just open the window and select it from here media browser click it we can see this is here so we have saved this audio file la, la, right here la, la, and if we la, la, la. if we click it la, you can la, see uh, down here is an autoplay button so I can turn this off or turn it on so if I click la, it la, la, it'll automatically la, la, la. play 
But if I deselect this and click play, la, la. that then I have if I double uh, click it, it's not going to do anything unless I click play. So that's some basics of recording. And in the next video, I will actually be teaching you a little bit more about this and also some some other cool stuff. So catch you there and subscribe.